Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you about the recent happenings with two extremist groups, the Oath Keepers and Proud Boys. They're kind of like a bad sitcom duo, but not as funny. So the leader of the Oath Keepers, Stuart Rhodes, was convicted, and now they're pretty much falling apart like a poorly made lasagna. <gasps> but the Proud Boys, oh, they're still going strong. Unfortunately, you'd think cutting off the head of the dragon for the Oath Keepers would be a game changer. But now experts are worried about splinter groups, you know? Like when your favorite band breaks up and forms new, less successful bands. And the Proud Boys? They're targeting LGBTQ plus events like it's a sport. <clears throat> and Rike Tario, their former chairman, gets convicted, and now they're just all fired up. Life gives you lemons, make lemonade, and then throw it at innocent people. Wait, is that not the same? Our country's like a wild west of extremism these days. It's like going to the ice cream parlor and finding out they only serve Rocky Road and Double Fudge Explosion. Where's the vanilla people? I just want some vanilla. But amidst all this chaos, we can't ignore the role legal accountability plays in, well, keeping these groups accountable. It's like giving a toddler a time out. Sometimes they need a little punishment to learn from their mistakes. Well, let's hope these folks eventually learn to play nice. In the meantime, we've got to try and make sense of it all, while laughing so we don't cry. Nah. Thanks for joining me today. And remember, this podcast is brought to you by AI Pictures. Hey, funny folks.